Hello and welcome back to another Grand Arena Championships. This is Heathen 13 and this is Season 15, Week 1, Round 3. We're in the Week 1 Finals and we're facing someone I believe is a worthy opponent. Our opponent is R7-D4. So let's look at the matchup. Alright, the overview of the hot bot shows most of the green on my side, but don't let that fool you. Looking at the stats, you can see he has almost 550,000 lifetime banners, over 1,200 offensive wins, almost 100 full clears. This is indeed a very strong opponent. When we match up our rosters, you can see I do have a 400,000 GP advantage overall, but he has the top 80 and top 65 GP advantage. I have 11 more Zetas he, he does, and a bit of a speed advantage. I have one more G13, he's got seven more G12s, and quite a few more G11s and above. The one area where I feel like I have a pretty big advantage is overall mods. You can see I have more than double the amount of six dot mods, and quite a bit more mods with speed secondaries. And then you can see he has a very slight relic advantage over me. Looking at the meta character report, you can see we are basically even. In fact, looking at his roster overall, it's so very close to what mine is. It's almost like playing against myself. In the ships, same thing. The only difference is that my malevolence is still only six stars. I am 10 more shards away from finally getting that guy to seven stars. All right, looking at his roster in game, you see he's running a Jedi Knight Luke team in arena. Looking at his overall roster, it looks so much like mine. So many of the same characters, no big holes, definitely a good opponent. It really just comes down to a couple decisions that he's made on offense versus defense. All right, we've got a little over two hours left in the attack phase. Let's look at the board. And you can see he's already full cleared me for 2631. So let me show you what I said on defense and show you what he was able to accomplish. All right, up top, mostly the same. Uh, same Basila, same Dooku, same Asajj with zombie team. But this time I did put my Jedi Knight Luke on defense. I thought he was going to struggle with that, and he did not. Got through it in one. Down below, put a Hux first order. Put my Grievous out front this time and a maul with marauder squad one shot all of those trying to trap him back here with my darth revan but he got through that in one as well finally in the back in ships i put two weak squads and each one only got one reinforcement out so he did do really well in ships got decent score now looking at his GAC history, I've noticed that he tends to put Darth Revan on defense almost every time, and occasionally he'll put Jedi Knight Luke as well. So I had to plan thinking that both of them might be on defense, but neither one of them is up front. On the top, he's got a new Nest Django team. He's got a Basila team with GK. He's got a Grievous squad and some Geos. And down below, He's got a straight CLS Han Chewy. He's got a Bosk Bounty Hunters and then a Saj Night Sisters. So it wouldn't surprise me at all to see Darth Revan and or Jedi Knight Luke in the back. But seeing that he's one shot my whole squad, including my Darth Revan and Jedi Knight Luke, it also wouldn't surprise me if he kept both of those to counter me. So I'm gonna try and get through the front here um, as cheaply as possible, but I can't afford a loss. I mean, I guess I potentially could afford a loss, but I need to try and think one shots all the way in order to beat his score. So we're going to tackle this CLS squad first. I'm going to bring in my Jedi Knight Revan. And see what we can do. All right, so they went after Revan first. We're going to go ahead and mark Chewy. See if we can get him down as quickly as possible to get rid of the guard. Let's do that. And we'll spread some foresight. I was hoping. Don't know what I was hoping. It was a dumb mistake. I shouldn't have uh, <laughs> attacked everybody when I knew they could attack me back. But there goes Chewie. So let's 
heal up first, and then we will go after Han. And at this point, it'd almost be better if Savior procs on Grandmaster Yoda, because I'm not going to be able to get him healed back up. Mm. Let's spread the buffs and see if we can get a heal with Jolie. Try and get our health back. Okay, it's so only a 51. All right, I feel like I need to, doing the math, I need to average at least a 51 in order to beat his score. So we're going to jump to the boss team next. We'll take our Jedi training array. We'll wiggle and we'll wave and we'll go after Boba. Uh, let's stealth before Dangar gets into stealth. That'll probably be our last time we can do that. Got a stun. Very nice. Keep going after Boba. Wave down Bosk again. And let's just basic. And then let's get burning out. Not going to be able to get all of the protection back back right now. Just need to make sure I win. Because, oh, I can stealth up again. So let's stealth up and hide uh, BB-8 because he is hurting. All right, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and take out Boba. Go with Burning again. We need some Illuminated Destiny. Uh, I think a basic will kill him here. Yes. And a stun, maybe? Good. Ooh, so very close to dying here with BB-8. Illuminate Destiny in one turn. So we'll get that. Should survive. No! Ah, dang it. That was rough. Hmm cannot afford to be losing that many banners on these. That's something I considered a safe counter, too. All right, that was really rough. Really rough. All right, we're going to come in here with Bosk and the Fet Boys. And we're going to go straight in after Daka. Get burning down on them as well. Let's go with a ability block. Nice. The taunt up. And a big hit. Nice. Alright, let's. Hmm. Let's get this foresight away from uh, Spirit. Go ahead and kill Spirit. Not getting the healing back that I want. Again, banners are a premium here today. Double tap? No. I really would like to get the contract up, which I did. And I'd like to get some healing going on. Doesn't look like it. So we're going to end it with a 51. Alright, so not the banners I was hoping for in that front zone. But let's see what he has in the back. This is what really is going to shape this match from here on out. And he did put Darth Revan. But, interesting, he has HK, not Malak. Alright, well... The match is going to come down to how we do on this Darth Revan squad, I think. So, because there's no Malak, I feel a little better about my possibilities. But I'm going to go with my Padme here. And we shall see if that is going to work. Uh, I did make my Padme slow before 3v3s. Precisely 
to try and counter Darth Revan's. And if this doesn't work, I'd probably lose this match. But we're gonna give it a shot. All right, so all the debuffs are up there. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of all of them. And we're gonna go straight after Basila Sean Fallen. Let's not take any chances, just pile on. Okay, let's go ahead and kick HK. I think his attack is next. And then let's go after our friend Darth Revan. Nice, perfect. All right, so we can ignore this back zone for a little bit. Let's go back up to the front. Now the big question here is, what do I want to do with this Grievous? And uh, because I have them available, I think I'm just going to go hard and go with gas. And let's even bring in fives and wrecks in case something goes wrong and I have to execute. gone quicker rather than later all right it's not gonna be good banners but I think it's probably gonna be better banners than my other options which were night sisters or just clones. Oh, that is such a bummer. One more hit and it would have been, uh, oh, hmm. All right, well. There we go, all right, nobody died, 50. All right, we are actually averaging, I think, either right at or a little under what I need to average in order to get these wins. So I think I'm gonna need to step it up a little bit. Let's go after Newt with the Geos. have exposed and we are under stealth let's give a big hit and that was not very big let's head on back to new that's one death and we'll pay off our extortion we're just gonna bang on Django until his damage immunity goes away which it just did and Django already did his big hit. We're gonna go ahead and heal. And we're gonna try and line up our big hit for Spy on Ness. Let's see if we can get him. Didn't quite get her. It's all right. We'll wait for the next time it comes around. It's just gonna be a timing issue. So we'll sit here and do basics, see if we can't time out uh, Spy's big hit for when Ness comes out of, uh, after Ness takes a turn. Not quite. So let's heal up again. So we're gonna wait on it. go only a 50 all right we have to start making up banners here all right 
So I'm going to go after these bugs with my Vader. And I'm a little worried about it because I had also thought about using my Vader on the Night Sisters in the back. But we're going to go after it with something else. So we will Merciless, and we will Force Crush, and we will go after Spy, and then we will see about Ability Blocks for the rest, and we will get a Fracture up on the Root, hope for some stuns, we have one. And let's see if we can just kill the brood. Hmm, not quite. Okay. Ability block, sure. Let's pass this back over to Vader and go back into Merciless. And then we'll see if it kills him this time. Yes. All right, uh, we're gonna force crush so we can't counter. And then it looks like we're gonna lose two banners, one banner. Only last one, okay. All right, we will take CLS here and hope we can get through that GK. Uh, let's go after Ezra first. Oh, it's not going to matter because GK is going to keep taunting. So let's just keep going on GK. Hmm. Hope this was not a mistake. Pile on. Right, so he won't be taunting anymore, but it's just a matter of let's make sure that Chupio doesn't die. So let's dispel all that off Ezra. And it looks like I'm definitely going to lose a banner from Chupio, but I will take a 53. All right, that opens up ships. Let's see what he put. He likes to hold his good ships for offense usually. Okay, so let's see if we can undersize these um, to get some banners, some needed banners. In my calculations, I was assuming we're hoping for 60s on the ships. So anything above a 60 would be fantastic. So I'm definitely going negotiator here. And we'll leave two spots open. Apologize for not talking so much. I am pretty tense here. I, I am absolutely concerned that we are dropping too many battles along the way. Um, I didn't want to do buff immunity against um, uh, Y-Wing because I didn't want Biggs to taunt. Go big hit. Almost. Ooh, and they did land the the um, protection down debuff on my own suit, so he's gonna die. We need Plo in here to get some healing up. All right. Ah, oh, so close. That sucks. Totally lost somebody I was hoping not to lose. I mean, hoping not to lose anybody ever, but... Uh, Alright, this should do it. Yes, okay. 64, I will still take that. 
gives me a little more breathing room. All right, so the question here is, do I go after this with my own home one, which is seven stars, or do I just go with my malevolence and undersize it significantly? All right, we're gonna we're gonna roll the bones here. We're gonna go with home one in the hope that I can land the protection down debuff uh, quickly and get Hound's Tooth out. My malevolence sometimes struggles getting Hound's, a beefy Hound's Tooth down quickly. So he's gonna have the first couple attacks. And I'm gonna hope to land this debuff. Here. Yes. Nice. Alright. Let's well, let's go ahead and bring in Phantom. That's fine. We'll go with the big hit. That is truly annoying, but it doesn't matter. Take him out. There we go. Nice. Alright. So we just have these three down below. Alright. So let's go after Night Sisters. I'm tempted to experiment a little bit, but at this point there's no margin for error to experiment. So. We'll just go in with the Treya Trio. It'll take a little while, but it should get him down. We just gotta work our way through uh, the three deaths. So we'll just do that one by one. And we will not even worry about Acolyte hiding over there for now. We'll bring her out when we need to. And uh, in the meantime, we will keep reducing cooldowns. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull them out just so we can hit Acolyte so that I can not kill Talzin yet because I wanna, uh... you know what? Let's just kill, let's kill Acolyte. Yeah, because Talzin's never gonna hide. I don't have to worry about her hiding, yes. She'll trigger the death from zombie, but I can just re-isolate zombie. Pass this protection over to Scion. Get our Hell by Hatred up. Now, this is probably not going to be amazing banners. It never is. But at this point, I don't need amazing. I just need one shots. And there's two deaths. We need one more. going to be able to get any protection back, I don't think. We'll try. That's a Nihilus, but it should just be a 51. Alright, for this card squad, I've got uh, Kirahan and Chewie somewhere. There we go. We'll do that. And let's just kill mission. Nice. And let's see if we can just kill Karth. Fantastic. Don't go stealing banners on me here. Oh, you're kidding me. Come on now. Alright. We got one last battle. Let's not get tripped up by Akbar. 
and Biggs and Wedge. All right, so let's go ahead and give them a tank, a pretaunt, and a wampa, and a watt. And we'll go with that. And we'll go weapons tech on wampa. We will stun Biggs. We'll go tanking tech on crew. And let's hit everybody. And then we will just let Wampa kill. Heal up a little. And a 53. 52. All right. And it should be enough. Let's take a look. Yes. Final score. 2651 to 2631. Whew. Uh, I really want to say thank you to R7D4. That was the most fun I've had in a match in quite a while. Very stressful. Excellent defense. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in next round. Thank you.